I feel like my brother Nick is on Ben's side. Nick tells me we need to learn to co-parent. It is a lot harder than it looks to co-parent with someone who's always lecturing you and wanting to fight and argue with you on every little thing. It's very frustrating for me. I definitely feel like I'm being ganged up on. Jennifer and Ben are here today because they say their co-parenting relationship is so toxic that it's having a negative effect on their 13-year-old daughter. But get this, neither of them wrote to me. Jennifer's brother did. So let's hear what he had to say. Mom, I need help with homework. Not right now. Oh my God. I think my sister's parenting skills suck. Jennifer prioritizes her boyfriends over her kids. She leaves her daughter at home when she needs a break. Taking a break from parenting is not an option. I've also heard that the kids hear Jennifer having sex with her current boyfriend. Jennifer has said some pretty mean things to Bella. She has said, I should have aborted you. It breaks my heart. Jennifer has a GPS on her phone, and sometimes she'll tell us that she's at a friend's house when we can see that she's actually at a bar. It doesn't seem like she does much with the kids except sitting on the couch and watching TV. The refrigerator is often empty. Last year at school, one of the lunch ladies was giving Bella food to take home. I think my sister needs a wake-up call, and I'm hoping that Dr. Phil can be that wake-up call. Well, Nick, good to meet you, and thank you for writing in. Yeah, thank you for answering. And you say you think that Jennifer puts her needs ahead of the children. I do think that often, yeah. Not all the time, but more than is healthy. Yes. I, I talked about Ben's issues with you, and your issues with him are kind of one category, one note. You say, number one, you're sick and tired of Ben lecturing you on your parenting skills, mm -hmm. that he's kind of set himself up as some kind of repository of parenting knowledge and that he's telling you how to do it and you don't like that, so you rebel against it. And you say he threatens you by saying he's gonna take your house away. Do you tell her when you get in these things, hey, I'm always gonna win and you're always gonna lose, just accept it? I don't think I've verbatim said that, but again, we're not gonna argue semantics. Um, you know, and as far as the house thing, I don't threaten I'm gonna take it away. The state's gonna be taking it away shortly. It has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. She's in contempt right now because she's not following through as far as giving me my money, and it's been two years. So that's already in process. I've been and trying. It's hard as years. a single mom with the income I have been you signed it. And I'm trying. You signed it. I didn't know it was going to be that difficult. You tell me that you I don't you, want my you kids told to be around that you when you're you, having a hard time. You want me on the street and take I my never children want you on away the from That's me. That's ridiculous. Getting an idea of what's going on here? Oh, I had an idea before <laughs> they ever opened their mouths.